Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. This is Seminara, 1495. I have the Spanish Imperial Army. My opponent, Nacelet, has the French. I uh, do have some options for changing up the army. I went all in on light cavalry, some additional light foot in the form of arquebusiers and crossbowmen, one unit of gendarmes. I did not get the cheap Italian gendarmes. I did not get additional Rodoleros, these are uh, sword and buckler men. Uh, the French have top-notch Swiss mercenaries, so these guys are going to be speed bumps anyway. Next turn. haven't actually played this in multiplayer, that I recall. So let's see. The Swiss Pike are determined foot. They can move three, but they are spread out in a thinner formation than usual, so they are not Kyles. They can be flanked. Stream counts as not open, so it would mean no impact. Uh, but that doesn't matter because these aren't Kyles anyway. And then in melee, they would get 50 POA on us for elite versus superior. So with that in mind, I'm inclined to just turn around and flee with my swordsman into the rough and the hill. Light horse here. Keep in mind we're outnumbered, so we've got modified easier victory conditions, 31% losses, and we technically win. So I might shift. Hmm. Crossbowmen over to assist in the cavalry battle. And Arquebusiers can line up to the sides of the swordsmen. So, eight French light cavalry to my eight light cavalry, so we'll definitely need the help. Maybe for starters, we'll shift down to extend the line. Next turn. Oh, that's awkward. No point trying to hold the stream. We'll be down 50 POA against those Swiss Pike men, unless we're in rough ground, which unfortunately there is not very much of. Our cavalry is inferior, and our infantry is inferior, so we really just need to try to fight to inflict 30%. Next turn.
Hmm. But why? Well, take cover in the rough and continue to withdraw. Maybe ship some more archivists over to that flank. Okay, it's a little awkward. A reckless attack by him would have, of course, suited me much better than this cautious forward maneuvering. Next turn. Very defensive, but I don't really have the numbers to exploit it. turn. Well, I can't fight that with just light cavalry, so now I'll have to draw off. Yep. 
yeah, eight units against uh, 13 is not really a thing. Okay, do I need to do more for now? Don't really believe that I do. Can keep my options open like so. Next turn. Okay, here we go. Right, let's uh, absorb that crossbow fire, which is fine. And more importantly, take some pot shots at the Swiss. one unit of cavalry back to try to, I don't know, slow down these four units of gendarmes. Okay, next turn. Not really that concerned with long range crossbow fire. The concentration could be a problem though. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's uh, run a flank then. Okay. I wish I could find a way to get my Arkansas to shoot the Swiss, but I really can't. Um, let's move here, shoot, move here, shoot. Be ready there. 
turn about and fire prepare to join in the skirmishing there these five skirmishers can hang out and lurk stay away from crossbow shot and risk getting run down here so that we can force a disruption that's all next turn Oh no. I really don't see how it can even inflict 30% on a cautious player. If I go here... Well, might as well hope for best. Maybe we can get a break. Snag something out of this situation. Damn, that's unfortunate. This is not, not going to plan. They are armored with swordsmen, we're only partially armored without swordsmen, so... Yeah, it's turning into an immediate disaster here. do that. I don't think it would really lead to anything good though. In the meantime we do have to shoot back. If we're not going to let our swordsmen just get disrupted with no response. Try to go to him to continue pursuing these like crossbowmen maybe. But yeah it's, uh, it's not looking good. Go here just to keep them from shooting up our gendarmes immediately, at least. And yes, we're gonna lose these units, but we're gonna lose them anyway. Alright, we've done our best. Next turn. We did not break that unit. What a shame.
our fallback is blocked, so we're gonna take a bad round or two of melee. There we should do, I was going to say okay, but never mind. <laughs> uh. Wow. Well, this is going to be over immediately. Um, right, who is still alive? Sound them in. Hopefully, our gendarmes fall back after the next melee phase. Uh, in the meantime, oh, well, hmm. They hold firm. How's the melee? Not bad because of the uphill. Combat strength modifier would be in our favor. Okay, good. That's actually an okay place to be. Uh, Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to last long here. Next turn. Well, that's something. Nice. Should bounce that as well. Good.
Well, we're down 20 to 0. What could go wrong? Okay, well, let's get away and go for a disrupt. Good. How is that? 43? Hmm. Gotta be close to breaking. We have to engage, so we will steady against disordered pikes. So we'll take that. Ah, about to auto break, aren't we? Maybe not right away, but soon, so we'll set up a charge on these disordered pikemen. Back, waste more time. What a disaster. Okay, maybe we'll get some breaks in though. Next turn. Unlucky. Oh, they held firm. That's unfortunate. That's a real danger. Bounce that. Good. Ugh, off map. Oh, he should have just charged there. I mean, not that it's going to make much of a difference. Okay, at least we got 4% damage in, for honor's sake.
Okay. Well. Fire. Combat strength modifier plays in our favor here, so it's at least even. Unfortunately, I can't charge here because they would flank us. What a shame. Yeah, this is not the best. Nowhere we can really go to avoid... Well, I guess we can try for that. Next turn. Oh. <laughs> cool. Interesting. Why did they stand? Bounce that. So that's fine. Well, sort of. Now we're going to get shot at. Better than being stuck in melee with the pikes. Well. First of all, let's engage here, then let's push, and hopefully it's going to be a slam into the pikemen, but never mind. It's hoping for a disrupt there. You are screwed. You could turn and fight and get shot at, or run away and get shot at. So they're both unenviable choices. Yeah, there's there, there's really nothing you can do here. I don't know. Run over here or something. Uh, uh, this is horrible because we have no melee capability. We have armor advantage at least. And swordsmen. Ouch. Right, we could go for the frag, I guess? Yeah, that didn't really work out. <laughs> Very productive. Next turn. Oh, too bad.
They'll get the flank on us no matter what now. Well, they're disordered, so we'll charge anyway, despite the flank. Excellent work, as usual. Ah. Well, let's see, maybe if we're extremely lucky, which seems rather unlikely, we do disrupt them. Well, it's in we go before we get shot at anymore. Next turn. And they hold firm and fall back, which means they're no longer disordered. Did he not go for the flank? Maybe not. Well, this is just, ugh. Usually this game provides very dynamic battles, but this has been clear from the very beginning how it's gonna go. Might as well go for the catch. And you're gonna auto break. Nothing useful to do with them. We could, if we survive a turn, get into a flanking position, but. <sighs> okay, it is mercifully over. I inflicted 10% out of the required 31%. To be honest, I really don't feel like this is even remotely possible for the Spanish Imperial side if the French player takes it slow and careful early on as they slipped it here. If he just 
hurled himself forward, I think I kind of had a chance to inflict some loss on his, casual, on his cavalry. But he gave me really no openings to work with. And without openings to work with, I couldn't make a dent. Uh, I mean, you can let me know if you feel otherwise, but I, I feel that that's true. So next up is Fornovo. We'll see how I do there. So good game and well played, Tanae Slip.